All right then, so let's get started on this project. The first thing we need to do is make an array of cards, whereby each card item in that array points to a specific image source that we have in the public folder. Now I'm gonna create this array outside of the components because they're a constant and they'll never need to change. So they don't need to be stored in any kind of component state. And also if I create them outside of the component, the cards array won't get recreated every time the component is reevaluated. So let's make a constant first called card images and set it equal to an array. Now I'm just gonna paste these different objects inside the array so you don't have to watch me type them out by hand. And you're gonna see each card in this array is an object. And the only property it has is a source property, which is a path to a specific image. So we have six different cards in total, each with a different picture source. All right then. So next up, we're gonna create a function inside the component, which is gonna do three things for us. First of all, it's gonna duplicate each card once because we need two of each card for the game. So a user can match them together. So we'll have an array of 12 cards instead of six, two of each image. Next, it's gonna randomize the order of the cards in the array using the sort method. And then finally, it's gonna apply a random ID to each of the 12 cards, and we'll use the ID as a key for React when we're outputting them later in some kind of list or grid. So let's make this function. All right, so I'm gonna call this function shuffle cards like so, and set it equal to an arrow function. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new constant called shuffled cards and set that equal to an array. So remember, I said that this function is gonna do three things. And the first thing to do is to basically take these objects right here, duplicate them and put them all inside this new array. So we have 12 objects in there instead of six. So all I need to do is take these card images and spread them using spread syntax, like so, three dots, and it takes each one of these elements and places it inside this new array. So basically, this array is virtually the same as this right now. But now what I'm gonna do is a comma, and then dot, 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 card images again to spread them again. So now we have two lots of each of these inside this new array. So we have 12 in total. All right, so the second thing we said we'd do is sort these images to kind of mix them up, to shuffle them. So to do that, I'm gonna tack on the sort method right here. So we're still on this array, we're still on this assignment, I've just gone down to the next line and I'm tacking on the sort method. And what the sort method does is fire a function for each item or each pair of items in this array. And inside that function, if we return a number less than zero, the order of those two items stays the same. If we return a number greater than zero, then the order of those two items that it's comparing is mixed up, it's swapped. So in order to get a random order, all we need to do is say something like this, math.random, that gets us a random number between zero and one, and then I'm gonna minus 0.5. Now, sometimes this is gonna be a negative number, sometimes it's gonna be a positive number. When it's a negative number, the items will remain the same order, those two items it's comparing. When it's a positive one, it's gonna switch the order around. So the end result is basically a shuffled array, okay? Okay then, so finally, I want to tack on the map method and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to fire a function for each item now inside this new sorted array. And for each one, I want to add on an ID property. So we want to return an object in each case. So let me place this in parentheses since we're returning on the same line right here. We're returning an object right here. And this object is gonna take all of the card properties and the card needs to be taken in as an argument right here. So we fire a function for each item in this sorted array. Each item is represented by this card object right here we take into this function. And each time we map it to a new array where we take the current card and we spread the properties of that card. Now at the minute it's just a one property, the source, but also we add on a new ID property. And that ID is just gonna be math.random and that's all there is to it. So this is gonna be a random, if I can spell it correctly that is, a random ID number right here on each object. And the end result now is gonna be that we have this constant, which is an array of shuffled cards, where each card also has an ID property as well. 
All right, so we have this function now which shuffles the cards, but we're not doing anything with this constant right here. What I'd like to do is create some state to store our cards in for a particular game. So I'm gonna create that state up here, const, and then we'll call the state cards, and we need a function to update them, so set cards, and we'll set that equal to use state, and I'm gonna click on this one right here. It should auto import it for me at the top. Awesome. The initial value is going to be an empty array but now down here after we've called this function to shuffle the cards what i'm going to do is update this state right here using set cards so let me copy that and paste it down here and inside here we'll pass in shuffled cards like so so now when we call this function it's going to generate the shuffled cards and then it's going to update our card state to be those shuffled cards, all right? Now, I also want a little bit more state, and that is gonna be for the turns, how many turns a user is taking to complete the game. And that's gonna increase by one every turn. So let me create this, const turns, and also set turns, and I'm gonna set that equal to use state again. And to begin with, it's gonna be zero. And down here also, I'm gonna say set turns, and that's gonna be zero. So the reason I'm doing this is because every time we start a new game by clicking on this button, we're going to call this function shuffle cards, which is going to shuffle the cards. It's going to set the cards to be that shuffled cards constant. And then it's also going to reset the turns back to zero every time we click on this button to start a new game. So let's hook up this function right here, shuffle cards with this button. So on click, set that equal to shuffle cards. And then also, just to make sure this is working, I'm gonna console.log the cards and also the turns, which is the two pieces of state. So we're gonna try this out in a browser now. We're gonna click on this button and then this is gonna run and hopefully we should see the shuffled cards log to the console and zero for the number of turns. All right then, so to begin with, we can see the cards is just an empty array. That was the initial value for the cards and turns as well is zero, which is the initial value. Now, when we click on new game, watch this. Now we can see the cards is this array of 12 items. And inside here, we can see that we have a shuffled array of cards. So they're not all in order. We can see right here, potion one, that's this image. And the other potion is down here. So they're not next to each other. Same for this one. Shield one is right here. Shield one down here. So these two would match. Helmet one and helmet one. And they all have a unique ID as well. All right then, so we have our cards now. Next up, we need to create some kind of grid of cards so we can show them in the browser. 